Have you ever ended up with an itchy bug bite from an insect you did not see? You may have been the victim of a no see um. What are no see ums? As the name suggests, they are insects that are so small they are difficult to see. They are biting insects that feed on vertebrate blood or other insects. Can you use nets, screens, or repellents to keep them from getting in houses or biting you? What treatments or home remedies are effective against biting midges? Keep reading to find out where no see ums live, why these bugs bite, and what to do about them. No see ums can be pesky bugs, but they are also amazing animals. There are more than 5,000 species of these insects, and they live in every part of the world except the polar regions. Some species are known from bugs preserved in amber fossils. No see ums are holometabolous meaning they have a complete metamorphosis with four distinct life stages, just like a butterfly. These include egg, larva, pupa, and the mature amago or adult. If you like chocolate, thank a no see um. Nectar is a major food source for all of these insects, but in some places, they are a major pollinator of the cocoa bean. No see ums have a life cycle of up to six weeks. About 28 days are spent inside the egg. These insects have special mouthparts designed for cutting skin. They also inject saliva under the skin, which causes blood to pool there. That makes it easier for the insect to drink the blood, but it also causes an itchy allergic reaction. These insects are tiny, generally ranging from 1 to 3 millimeters in length. They are true insects. They have three body segments, a head, thorax, an abdomen, six legs, and wings. They are usually black, brown, or gray in color. Some have stripes. Like mosquitoes, females feeding on blood develop a translucent distended abdomen, and you can see the blood inside. They are distinguished from other small flies by a number of characteristics. They have hard structures called sclerites on their heads, and they have mouthparts specifically designed for cutting skin. The larvae of some species can be identified by their prolegs. Baby no see ums, called larvae, are both aquatic and terrestrial. This means they spend time in water and on land. As such, they often eat algae and fungi. They also need ample moisture to grow. Similar to mosquitoes, both the males and females of the species feed on nectar from flowers. In fact, nectar is their favorite food. In some tropical regions, they are cocoa bean pollinators. This sweet liquid does not contain enough protein to help the female produce eggs, however. To fill the deficit, the females of most species feed on vertebrate blood. Their mouthparts are designed for cutting the skin. This results in painful bites and itchy lesions on the host's skin. A few species prey on other insects rather than on human or animal blood. Interestingly, some species hunt mosquito larvae. At least one species eats only nectar. No see ums are small enough to pass through window screens and some insect nets, thus getting in houses. They can be repelled using insect repellents such as DEET, eucalyptus oil, icaridin, or picaridin. Insecticides and even specific bacteria have been used to keep their populations in check.